What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Dude, I appear so dark because of the windows. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Cafter Day. What's up? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. How is it going? Hey, uh, do me a favor and uh, go, go like, comment, subscribe, tweet, retweet, and uh, generally tell your mama about that tweet right there and uh, help make me famous. All right, friends? Thanks. Thanks. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks. Love you guys. Big hearts. Thank you. Thank you, big hearts. Uh, yo, Jen Jen, what's up? Welcome. Uh, congrats on being first. LEJ, congrats on being not first. Imagine Jen beating you out for first. Let's go. Let's go. Not even quick enough. She does love you, though. Uh, and imagine being muted when there's game music playing. <laughs> imagine. Madge. Madge. Jaguiza, what's going on, my dude? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. No X. No X. Calf, can you come back to normal? Saltas to Nikolai. No sale run. Who's Nikolai? And if, who's Nikolai? Is that your, is that your grandpappy? Is that your, uh, your stepdad? Who is that? Um, all right. We are going to get into more um hollow knight or hollow knight we're continuing the first playthrough i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are looking forward to, to it too um so let's uh let's chill let's uh have a good time i've got i've got my uh my scotch here and i've got my water so uh, let me know how you're doing in the chat has anybody updated their uh, Apple Watches? Because I kind of don't like something about it. Um, really don't like the double click feature that they have now. Or they changed to swipe and close apps. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Not good. Um, okay. Well, welcome again, everybody. Let's get into it. Shall we? <clears throat> Let us. You don't have one? I thought you did, Ellie. Why is this not working? Quick game. Oh, now it's working. I thought you had one. Could have swore you had one. Am I mistaken? Do you have an Android watch instead? Erwin has one? I thought you did as well. I mean, I, I figured you are a... I figured you're an, an Apple fanatic, like, you know, like myself and others. Hey, Zane, what's up as well, buddy? I'm sorry, I, I did see your message. I clearly just forgot to actually Acknowledge it. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. Good to have you here. How's it going? What's up? Ellie likes pink heels over Apple. That's actually facts. Ellie do be liking her pink heels. In her outfits of the day. You have a Fitbit? Oh, okay. Fitbits are Fitbits are cool too. I don't know why. I just uh, I knew you had some sort of watch. I just figured it was an Apple Watch. So I thought you might relate to this. Um, I don't like the way that they changed the double click thing. I'm gonna go to the left here. Team Fitbit for you too, Jen. Fitbits are the more economical way to go for sure. Um, my kids have Fitbits. Like, my wife and I both have Apple Watches. I like what Apple Watch has to provide for people in the ter in terms of data and different things, but each their own. Yeah, I'm calling you guys broke. <laughs> Wait, bougie broke. Like, <laughs> what's the words? A 
regular G-Shock? Who makes G-Shock? I don't know if I've heard, I heard of that. It don't connect to nothing. All right, here's where we didn't go last time. She's there. Come no closer, ghost. What's a G-Shock? That's like, that's like when a G gets electrocuted. Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you tried to do. I can't allow it. Oh, okay. She hasn't... What, what was that? going to be able to get health back. Uh oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Need to get health back. And now I can't. Hold on. Hold. Okay, so don't go near that then. Jerk off. Nice. Got her. First try. She gone? <clears throat> carry you through a tornado and tsunami so you're saying it's quality made for expert divers does it is that what it's really good for is like legit like swimming and diving and stuff now that we're talking watches i miss the days we were just having a light uh having a light on a watch yeah like you have a little freaking You'd have like your calculator on your watch. You'd be like, bro, I'm legit. Now you got to have everything special. Taking the moth wing cloak. Press RT to dash forwards. Use the cloak to dash quickly on the ground or through the air. Hell yeah. Oh, that's okay. It's this. What the frick? Excuse me? Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. Whoa. Who is that? Who the hell is that? What the hell is even that? Daddy chill. Daddy chill. You know any daddy chillers? Now we need to see the nudes. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Yep. If you aren't seeing your nudes on your wrist, it's like... What are you even doing with your life? <clears throat> Samsung came with a watch, but me and connecting via Bluetooth, etc. is just more hassle. That's cool that it actually came with the, the watch like that, though. Like the phone came with the watch as like a pairing. That's like a really nice combo deal. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was the hot spring, dude.
they have these stupid hot springs and of course it looks very similar to that mother frickin jerk off <sighs> <sighs> Sounds like me when I'm finished. <laughs> oh, frick off. Hit the wrong button. BG? BG? Any fish eyers? That's not where I wanted to go. What's up, BG? What you sipping on? Give me my, give me my ducats. I see it opened up the path here, though. Agua? Been on agua? Nice. You got me some agua. And I got some scotch on the rocks, too. <sighs> Yummy. Dude, I wonder if my phone camera settings, like, got... Messed up. Because my, now I wonder, like I know that my background is, is messing it up because this is bright, but I gotta see in the nighttime if my settings got messed up because my power went out. And so this, the camera went off. I'm curious if like the brightness settings and stuff are the same or if they reset, they probably reset and I didn't even think about it. Pisser. But I think it saves the brightness settings. I think the only thing was like the zoom because I used to turn it off. I am enjoying this game immensely so far. I think it's really freaking great. I look forward to playing it when I'm not playing it. So. I enjoy getting to have these opportunities to showcase it for everybody as this is my first playthrough of it. Okay, so then this brings us back here. Here is my hello message. I'll be back in a few hours to say bye. That's, yep, that's, that sounds about right, Mr. Nova Charter. Why didn't you dash? I hit the button, you jack off. That sounds about right. How are you doing today, sir? Are you well rested? Why doesn't it dash sometimes? I feel like sometimes it doesn't. Exhausted. So what, what, what was your final log off time? Was it like 3 a.m., right? When's the next no cam apex stream? You know, as much as I enjoy apex, I don't think I'm going to play that game again on stream. I actually uninstalled it because it's also takes a lot of space and I needed space in order to be able to download Final Fantasy seven remake. So I don't even have it installed currently. Fun game though. I like watching it more than I, I guess I like playing it because I suck at it. I like watching the pros play it. Cause they're like really good. You didn't send the thing Nova. He didn't send you that pic of, of his junk yet. What's up? <clears throat> what the hell dude? Lake of Oon. Just after 3 AM. Yeah. That sounds about right. That sounds about. Oh, oh. Oh! I don't know why I thought I could just walk up to that guy and, like, talk to him. Fuck 
off. Go heal. The other thing? Oh, was his it was his spread spread open butthole cheeks, right? That was the one. My bad. My bad. It was like the Drake wide emote. <laughs> He's old and forgetful. This is true. He is 50. Leave him alone. I'm sorry, VG, okay? I gotta be spicy. I gotta be spicy, okay? What's the matter? Rest? Ooh. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh. I push the boundaries, okay? I'm a boundary pusher. Hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. <clears throat> I can hardly believe... Wait, is that like a bad guy that's just kind of sitting there? Yeah. Or is... He's got the... I don't know. He's got like a mask on. I must to push the boundaries. These dusty old... <laughs> Highways led to such a lush and lively place. This, this building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. A strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I'd planned to offer greetings, though figured I'd first tend to my nail on chance our meeting goes poorly. Your nail looks a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of wear. I'd wager up there it would take you far. Down here, however, I, sp I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. Hollow Nest is perfect for vigilant explorers like us, so tense and thrilling in this place, you'll either, you're either alert or you're dead. Are you going to offer me to, like... Are you going to offer me, like, some sort of a better nail or something? Like, what do you... What do you want about, my dude? <clears throat> yeah, he's the dude. Fair, fair. What's over there? Oh, so there is something flying. What's up, Pat? How's it going? There's something flying back and forth. I got your fine instrument right here, pants crab. Okay, so it only goes that far. So you can't. I don't know. What's good today? Did you enjoy Albert Strim? Too small to fight. Yeah, my nail is too small for fighting. <clears throat> it's not a big boy nail like Nova Charters. All right, let's see. I'm going to take the... Wait, no, I can't. I got to go this way. I'm not a huge fan of this dash. I feel like it doesn't work all the time. You got to be careful with this dash. Pretty cool. I can make some more progress now that I've got the dash, though. Let me go save. Oh, hello, madam. What's up today, LCG? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Cafter Day. What's up? I tried. Oh, 
here's the bench <clears throat> probably chilling going to the market nice you're gonna you're gonna pick up some cottage cheese some greek yogurt some chicken maybe some turkey some almonds some walnuts all healthy stuff right let's see where can we go let's explore let's explore this green area pretty music though We didn't go left here. stealing my stuff so that's good we can get back to we can get back to the forgotten crossroads like really quick if we need to which I kind of want to do anyway because I need to get that thing from that dude that casts light there's an area that I need to go back in that forgotten crossroads first area. Oh. Give me those duckets. Anything up here? Whoa. Excuse me, Mr. Plant. All right. Watch out for that. Oh, ho, ho. Almost got me good. These little friggers are tricky. There's another one right here. All right, we're back to 1847, which is how much I need. I don't think I can go to the left here. Again, dude, this this uh this flash thing kind of sucks. Yeah, so we can't go anywhere over here, it seems like, because unless I can get this dude to somehow go over there and I can bounce on him, there's no way for me to, like, he doesn't really move. I don't think I can draw him to go over there. Up. 
And then to the right, what's over here? Orn's literally right there. Oh, that's right. I think I should be able to get through here now. Cool. What's this? Thorns of Agony. What do we got here? Senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them. Thank you, Nova Charter. When taking damage, sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes. Kind of cool. Oh, I got to go to a freaking thing to equip it, though. How do I, get? I need to get more notches. That's what I need to get. I'm getting charms and I have no notches to actually use them. Alright. That's cool. I'm going to put it back on the map. Let me see if I can go up and to the right, maybe. I do want to save though, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go down. Nova Charter, how many coffees have you had today so far? Coffee number are you on? Wait, what was that down there? What is. Nice, good, good jump. Quality jump right there. Still in bed. Don't blame you. I guess. Are you you're just on your phone right now? Quality jumps. That's what I'm saying. Dude, again, quality jump. Just I'm gonna go save. I press the jump button off, he just falls. Like, way to go. To go, little guy. Quality jumps, LEJ. Only the best jumps. Am I right? What the? F nice. Enjoy your mobile experience. I'm happy to have you here. While you're in bed. In your underwear. With no socks. And no shirt. You were playing MM Mega Man 2 last night and it was so awesome. It's time for the wakey wakey exercises. Do you mean the wanky wanky exercises? I don't think I can make this jump. I mean, if we're being honest. I really would love to make this jump. Cause there's something down there. You're a pro. You're uh you got your got your license already in that. My man. Professional. Awesome. Because of this douchebag on this stupid little. Uh 
I like the way the music changes when you have to kill your dark self or whatever. That's kind of cool. It's all creepy sounding. <clears throat> Nova's using Ellie for his spank bank. Nova, well, take it as this is your opportunity. This is now your opportunity to get started. You've already done day number one. Yeah, I can't make this. this is stupid. Unless I can get something over here, but I don't think there's any flying creatures or anything that would allow me to get over there. Yeah, but you didn't do 50 squats all at once. You did 50 squats, like, right? In intervals of, like, how many sets with how many reps? Yeah. At any one given time, you did how many? Five? Maybe ten? You did sets of 10, so you did five sets of 10. Well, good on you. You did something. That's what's important. See, but you've already taken step number one. So you've done, now you're gonna heal up. Now you just gotta keep it going. You gotta keep that train moving. got there hubba bubba who gave you that hubba bubba you got it from dollar general wow wow now you got so much bubble gum it was it was tempting it was tempting. I was talking to my son. He came in with um, bubble gum, telling me about it. What's up, Neon? How was it going? Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Happy calf today. Yo, Kodo, what's going on? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to have you here. Happy calf today. Happy not working day, indeed. Indeed. Agree. What are you sipping on today? You got something you're sipping on? No, that's not a command here, Niv. Maybe I'll keep a wheel and have squats, push-ups open on it. I mean, you... Oh! You could do that. That's up to you if you want to keep doing that. But in either case, you could continue what you've been doing. And then it won't feel so, so badly. What the? Two of them popped up. I saw the one. I didn't see the second one. Little jerk face. 
Four of us set up legit just got... Wait, oh, so you didn't have that previously? I thought that you already had it. My bad. I thought you were using that and already had that. Hmm. Let me see. All right, so I have been down. I've been down there. <clears throat> uh, still haven't purchased any beans, but I'm going to go out later today to pick some up. Probably just going to buy something local from the store. So if you... Uh, Kodo... Uh, f I wouldn't suggest going to the supermarket only because you don't know when those were roasted. You want to look for something that has a fresh roasted date on it. Like, you know, roasted on... You don't want something that says, like, good before... Because they just do that as like, you know, a way to like mass produce beans and then they get them on the shelves. They sit, they sit in some warehouse for months. Then they go to the shelves in the supermarket. They sit there for months. Try to find if you have like a local roaster or a local cafe, sometimes they will sell beans from somebody that they like right there. And you can just check. And normally a good cafe would have good coffee with like, you know, roasted on date and you want to find something that's within like, you know, a couple weeks of, of being roasted or something. So, um, but yeah, that's my recommendation. Probably gonna something to see how it goes. I go from there. I just want a baseline before I spend 50 bucks. Yeah, I gotcha. Gotcha. See, this is your first playthrough. How do you feel about the game so far? Oh, I'm loving it. I think this game is freaking amazing so far. I am digging it so heckin hard. It's freaking amazing. I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, having, I like having information before I make big investments like I do as much as... It, that's good. That's really good. Supermarket is basically forest coffee roast to provide a best before. It's, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I would... Certainly I would just suggest to like go to one of those cafes and, and see if they have something that would provide you something of... Uh, uh, you know, that's more fresh and, and some, or maybe even something that they recommend. Sometimes if you go to the cafe and you're like, Hey, you know, I'm new to this, you know, and I, I'm looking to get, you know, I just bought this V60 setup. I'm new to this and I'm looking to learn more, but you know, um, uh, I'm testing out coffees to see what I kind of, you know, what I, what I like and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of starting my journey and learning about it. You know, what do you suggest or what do you have on hand that I can look at and, and take a look and they, you know, what do you, what do you like about it? What do you, you know, this type of stuff they can, um, generally a good cafe will provide you some, some sort of like recommendation and stuff like that. They'll take the time to speak with you a little bit about it. You know, if you're just getting into it, that type of thing. And you can, you know, maybe make some friends in that way as well. When you stop in, they're, you know, they're going to want to keep your repeat business and whatnot. Not that you always have to stop in or anything, you know, but you could just make friends and stuff. <laughs> you making friends? I know, right? Vancouver life where there's four coffee. Yeah, true, true. It's cool to have cafes near you. Like I, you know, I have a place that I, I could go to and I could speak with the guy. I actually, you know what I did, Kodo, was I know somebody that, that owns a cafe and, you know, I have a, I have a espresso machine called the Decent um, Espresso Machine. And so the guy who owns Decent was coming to do these, um, he's like, like a road show basically where he was showing off the machine and all this stuff. And I actually worked with my friend to have that guy and his associate come into his cafe and show off the machine and like make make like you know espressos for people and show it off and all this stuff right in his cafe and i actually went there and like watched it and i was also you know part of setting it up so it was like really cool that was a very neat time we are not the same people. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Oh, so wait. All right. So I can probably take this away now. This, I could take this away. Also, 
I got this blue dude right here, so that should be all set. Your personality feels super fitting for your job. Yeah, I, I'm generally a pretty personable person and open and, you know, I, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy the so social aspect of things. I actually miss that because I work from home now. And I was just saying that to somebody the other day, a friend the other day. I was like, you know, I love working from home. I love the convenience. You know, I love the cost savings of like not having to drive and, and the time savings of like not having to drive, not having to, you know, saving on gas, all this stuff. But I do miss the social aspect of like seeing your coworkers and just like sort of chit chatting, whatever, whatever. Like I do miss that social atmosphere because working from home, it's just like me in my room. Um, but at the same time, yeah. Um, and, and, and so when I started streaming, was when COVID basically started and I was like, you know, I wanted something that was sociable. I wanted to meet people on stream. I was hoping to find coffee people that like coffee and stuff as well. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be cool. Like I'll be some coffee people. I'll play some games, like, you know, create a social atmosphere, this and that. And I didn't meet that many coffee people. And, you know, my streams at best generally had like 20 viewers. So it was like, there was some social atmosphere, but it wasn't as big as, uh, it never really got as big as I kind of hoped, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me see real quick Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> Based. Yeah. 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 I provide some, some info with there. Freaking go getter. <laughs> yeah, I I have I have a family, so I try to I try to do as as best as I can. It's tough out there though. Freaking housing prices are, are ridiculously expensive. I feel so bad for myself and I feel so bad for my kids because I'm like, how the hell are they ever gonna do anything in this world? Because everything is just so damn expensive. It's stupid. I am drinking um, I'm drinking scotch on the rocks. No, this is uh, Celsius, actually. I had um, an espresso this morning. Um, the, the roaster that I used is in my Discord server. Um, I'm still not on that Little Amps roaster yet. I still have to finish my last one. I think it's uh, it's called something, something Tabor. I forget what it's called exactly, but I'm still finishing up that one. I had an espresso this morning. Maybe I'll have one later, but this is Celsius. Uh, it's orange Celsius. It's an energy drink. Let me go save. Let me let me see if I can go upright. But then I'm gonna have to go back to the. I want to go back to the first area. When are we robbing a bank? Let's go, Jaguiza. Let's do it. Start making plans. <clears throat> trying to purchase an apartment <clears throat> yeah yeah and in, in in other areas it's worse than mine like i com i complain about my area but at the same time i know that there's areas that are much worse honestly and i feel bad for you know those people even more than i do myself because it's just bad it's bad man starter homes are over a million i know it's dumb stupid and and everybody that's selling their house thinks their house is literally worth a million dollars when it's worth half that it's like bro like your house ain't worth that much my dude in the suburbs yeah not even in the city either right it's like you expect from the the big cities it to be expensive but in the suburbs it's like crazy expensive too what's up man what's going on my dude welcome on in buddy good to see you man what's up what's up what's up how you doing today, buddy? Happy Capture Day. 2026, homie. When we gonna all find homes? Hell yeah. I mean, I, in all honesty, I have a home. It's just too small for me and my four kids. Um, that's why I, I need to find something bigger because, you know, we live in a 1,400 square foot two bedroom home and there's six of us. So 
I have three kids in one bedroom, my wife and I, and one of our kids in one bedroom. And that's this where I am right now. I have my streaming setup in here. I have like basically a toddler bed, like very small. It's actually a crib that I just haven't, I haven't fixed all the way yet, but it's basically a crib with no, uh, fourth wall. <clears throat> and then we have our bed. Like it's, it's way too small for us. You know, I like need to find something bigger. Those aren't homes anymore. They're an investment, which shouldn't be the case. I mean, it's it's both. Like, I understand it's both. But, yeah, I, I get what you're saying is that people are, pri people are being greedy and prioritizing it being an investment over, like, you know, a home. And it's causing prices to be inflated. And it's causing um, just a, a crap storm for everybody. Damn you. Damn you. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Just chilling, nice, dude. I mean, that's what Saturday is all about, right? Hope you're well, though. Hope you're enjoying your your chill Saturday. Um, new construction are half a mil. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like new, I mean, even more. I've seen new constructions that are like, you know, high, higher than than half a mil, or even sometimes more than uh, over a million i've seen new constructions <clears throat> but i don't care about new constructions i'd rather buy something that's um god lee get out of here something that's um already been around because i feel like you get a better investment for that like i understand the appeal of new homes but at the same time i'm not buying no new house because i just i feel like you pay a premium for that just like you do on a car or something yeah i'm not i'm not interested in new houses uh, how the F is the old, uh, 150 year old house worth that? Yeah. I'm not big on older houses, but for some reason, sometimes people like that. People like the old houses sometimes. Like it's, you know, historic and there's nostalgia and all this stuff. Like me, I don't, I don't dig it. <clears throat> I just don't dig it, man. Oh, you're talking about companies buying houses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like legit businesses. Gotcha. Well, I, even the house flippers too, right? Like, even if it's not a legit business, it's like the house flippers. I see houses that were bought a year or two ago, you know, or maybe sometimes three years ago. And they're selling for like 200000 over what they bought the house for a year or two or, you know, maybe three ago. And it's like, huh? Like, bro, like, what did you do that suddenly warrants it being worth 200,000 more? And it's like, you know, they didn't do anything. It's just people feel that the market went up, like, so the value went up. And it's like, you, you, you're like, you don't get to just throw 200,000 on the sale price because you think the market went up. Like, that's just highway robbery. And now um, the rates are up, too, so it's really bad. You're getting whomped, like, on both sides. Remember here, something about banks realize realty is the product they could make guaranteed money on. Investment property shouldn't exist. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> like, it should be an investment for the owner because, like, it's one of the few things that does... Um, it's one of the few things that does um, appreciate in value generally. Um, I guess all things considered, but but that's for the owner, you know. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be like for you know this this company that's buying and selling places all over the place and whatnot, you know. So. No, I'm not Canadian. I'm I'm in the U.S. I'm in uh, Northeast. I'm in New England. Yo, boxes. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. It'll be fine. We'll just crank out subprime. No credit check mortgages. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's it's guaranteed to just print money. Guaranteed. <laughs> Yep, that's a garbage idea. <laughs> I 
I do enjoy the movie The Big Short, though. That is a good movie. Oh! Mistakes were made. Hope you're doing well today, bud. Oh! Wait, I've already been up in this area. I haven't been over to the right. I haven't been over to the right. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh! What the frick? You tricked me! Oh, frick. They tricked me. I need to heal up. <laughs> Holy crap, they tricked me. <laughs> no, really, bet against the American comedy. Wait, what? What was that? It was just a cool movie in the way that they did it. And, and as a finance major, I thought it, you know, I thought it was like a cool movie and stuff, but I don't like the, the story of it all, basically. You know, I don't like the way it went down because it freaking ruined the American people, which is some bull crap. Eat the rich indeed. They need to freaking, they need to pay more in general, in taxes and everything. It's like with uh with all the crap that we got going on, like hoarding billions of dollars, like dude, you could freaking literally just like end world hunger, end freaking like people being homeless. Like any one of them, or even if they teamed up, it's like, but you know, of course they would never freaking do that because why, right? Yeah, I'm in finance. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kodo, I, I don't know, man. I sometimes wonder myself if we're going to have another one considering how high the market for, you know, housing has become. It seems like a bubble, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'm no expert on it, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. Everything is going to crash. We'll find out, Zup. No shot anything changes. Money and politics generally ruined Canada and America. True. True, true, true. They... Yeah, and they're all lying in their pockets is the thing. It's like... Jerk-offs. We bailed out the auto industry. They made insane profits. They didn't pay taxes and F their employees. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The only one who paid it back, there was like one... I think there was one... I think there was one of those auto companies that actually paid it back. But yeah, they all had these ridiculous bonuses that they gave to their, like, you know, executive level suite of employees and yeah, just screwed their employees. And that's part of what's happening to, um, I, I read a thing recently that was like a lot of, um, the shoot inflation. Like a lot of people think it's like prices on goods and services and stuff like that. But there's a big part of that that comes from like CEOs being paid more than like their actual workers. Like there's there's this pay inflation that gets factored in as well. And so there was one year where the bulk of inflation came from, you know, the CEOs being paid so much more than, you know, their workers and stuff like that. So it was like ridiculous. What do we got here? Balder shell. There's a new leaderboard each month. Oh no, a Niv. Woke up 20 minutes ago. This wasn't the conversation I was expecting to start my weekend with. We don't have to have it. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> we can talk about something else, but it's something people are very passionate about. So enjoy the conversation. 
Protect its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul. This shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. Oh, so this... So if I use this too much, it's gonna break? It's like a breakable charm, essentially. Time to vacuum. Get your vacuum on, Ellie. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I can always talk coffee. You know me. I've been... I've been trying to give some advice to Kodo on, on, on Kodo's new setup. Wait. I can hear him. Where is he? I can hear one of them. I don't use like K cups or whatever myself because I mean, I do have a Keurig. I actually have one of the original Keurigs. Like that thing is a freaking beast. My Keurig machine is an, is a tank dude. It's one of the OG original Keurig machines before they started making all these changes to make them smaller and slimmer and more quiet. The thing is loud, but it's a tank. I swear that thing could like survive a nuclear bomb. <laughs> but all the inflation is artificial due to pol political posturing. Southern governors choking the border and delaying shipments for... Yeah, that's stupid stuff, right? Artificial. That's like ridiculousness. Oh, there's an ad for anybody who's not sub. Apologies. We'll just wait for a second. Just gonna wait just in case i know not everybody gets an ad at the same time and whatever but just wait for a minute thanks everybody appreciate that for sticking it through with the ad twitch forces me to do that what kind of a setup kodo has a setup for pour over that that Kodo just got. It's a V60, which is what I have. Um, and it's a good setup. Uh, a lot of people like V60. <clears throat> Calf out here with three kids in the same bedroom because he has one bedroom dedicated to a coffee shrine. That's right. That's true. It's true. How'd you know? Keurig is nice for convenience, but the K-Cup coffee just tastes off to me. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. Plus the waste of it all, unless you're using the reusable ones. Where is that? Where is that guy? Um, unless you're using the reusable ones, there's a lot of waste involved with the, the K-Cups. Where is he? I gotta find him. But yeah, I do have my espresso set up as well. I love my my espresso setup, which I use that most of the time. Where is he? Is he up here? Is he like literally up here? Which I think is where he is. But I can hear him. So, uh, and I can't put a marker down because there's no map for this place. Which sucks. Probably just I want to get a pour over. I agree though, boxes. I'm not a huge fan of the, the the Keurig like taste and all that stuff. Like it's it's fine. Like whatever. If you you know if it's the only thing you got, like I'm not gonna knock it. You know, I'm not gonna you know um, yuck somebody's yum and everything. But it's not it's not my favorite setup for sure. Especially when you can get a V60 pour over setup for like real cheap. Like you can get a plastic V60 and some filters for like cheap, cheap. And you can do a pour over style generally. I mean, you do need a kettle too, but you can literally kind of just use the, your average everyday, you know, tea kettle. Um, 
And I think you can still make probably a better cup than like a, a K cup. You know, Keurig setup. I'm going to give it was because you can chuck the filters in the green bin. True. True. V60 is really nice too, though. As far as the plastic are just not brewing good enough. I mean, both. Like the plastic waste from it all. And then, yeah, the, the taste. I think you just get a much overall better cup from like a V60 generally. <clears throat> or maybe even a Chemex or one of the other, you know, various pour over options that are out there. It's the old argument against electric oil coffee makers. The water is too hot for the coffee. Yeah, it's all, it's a one size fits all type situation with that. It's a one size fits all. If you're boiling it too hot, and then you shouldn't be drinking coffee too hot anyways, because <clears throat> the body can't discern between, um, it, it can't discern flavors at, at higher temps or even colder temps. Like it needs to be some sort of like lukewarm or something like that for your your um, tongue to be able to actually taste flavors better. You know, eating scalding hot soup, it's like you're not going to taste it as well if it was just sort of semi-warm or something like that. Um, using an electric element to boil the water before the brew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do pour over the water, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be a rolling boil. It should be a decent temp. It depends. It depends upon the coffee. Like some coffees should be a really hot temp and then some shouldn't be. <clears throat> it depends a, a little bit on the, on the type of coffee and what you're trying to get out of it. But when you're drinking it, it shouldn't be like super duper boiling. Send the link. Sure. I can send the link in discord. It's, um, literally you can probably just Google it and like on Amazon, it's like, you can get a V60 setup, plastic one. You, they have ceramic ones. They have plastic ones. There's like different ones that you can get. I have the plastic one and it's a really cheap. And then I buy these like ch Chinese filters or something because they, they said they're like good or whatever. All right. I think I'm going to go to the teleport <clears throat> and I'm going to go back to the first area. Why people drink beer is cold is it, yeah exactly because um especially when the beer is like really bad you know you get this really cheap beer and then you drink it like literally ice cold because it um further just numbs the taste of it you know no but you're you anti-beer or not it's like that's actually true um, as, as beer gets, um, more towards like lukewarm or, you know, room temperature, it's going to taste the, the, the taste of it's going to stand out even more and it's going to be like, uh, you know, which tends to be why people want to drink it uh, literally ice cold or like really, really chilled. That's why the whole thing of like chilled mugs and all this stuff, uh, became a thing. For that exact reason. Your tongue cannot taste flavors as as well, if at all, at really, really high temperatures and really low temperatures. Let's go let's go to dirt mouth, actually. <clears throat> wonder how long this animation is. Okay, it's really, really slow, actually. <laughs> uh, not long at all. Like, um, like, I don't drink, but when it comes to coffee, I mean, the same thing, uh, the same thing works for coffee as it does for, like, you know, beer or something, so. Akala, no. Okay. Let me get this thing. I, I want this, I think. I want this vessel fragment. Oops. 
Oh, I need to... I want to put this on, I guess. Do I have to save after that? The amount of people I talk to complain about not losing weight and also drinking like three to four beers a day. It's empty calories is all it is. It's empty calories. And losing weight um, is literally just calories in versus calories out. It's a very simple e equation um, for, for losing weight. So yeah, if you're drinking like three or four beers a day and it's like, you know, even if it's 100 calories per can or say 150 or whatever, it's like you're obviously getting a lot of, you know, empty calories that are just passing through you real quick. Um, and yeah, simple as that. Wait, what was this one? What is this? Oh, this is, oh, I'm dumb. Liquid bread, baby. Exactly. Liquid yeast and wait, this dude's here. Were you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zote the mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. We're heading here in your dingy little village. I ventured into the dark pit below us and slew a great beast. It has sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. <clears throat> All glory to me, but I don't have time for your adulation. I must rest in prayer for my next journey down. He keeps talking about absolute drivel. Seems to think the very air is deadly down in the cavern. prayer. So they're not breathing. He keeps talking about dreams, too. Dreams are for those who feeble to truly live. Oh, I didn't know this guy actually came here. <sighs> Token marker. Gleaming marker. This understated color makes me think of hunting underground for... Okay, so these are just more markers. So I'm not going to buy those right now as I don't feel like that's really important. Where do I want to go? I think I can go over to the right area now. I'll try that maybe. Wait, no, not that one though. It's the, okay, I know which one it is. Whoa, what is this guy? You wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no greater warriors. No great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Oh, interesting. There's like people here now. You got to do a backward workout today? Just been riding my bike like crazy without picking anything up. Damn, dude. Good luck with the back workout. Um, what are you planning on doing for, for your lifts today? You going to do deadlifts, rows... That type of thing. Okay, we can't go anywhere there. <clears throat> or do you go to a gym and they have like machines and stuff? Like I work out from home, so I basically use like a, you know, a barbell and I do deadlifts and rows. That's pretty much pretty much the extent of my back workout because I don't have access to any machines, you know, that would probably work better. Cause I don't have a, a gym that, um, membership or anything. Deadlifts have been kind of rough though. Cause I think I have some sort of arthritis in my finger or something and it sucks. Been tough to hold the bar. Doesn't even allow me to inspect this anymore. I felt like it used to inspect. Oh, pull-ups too is another one. Yep. Overhead. Witchy McCollum's for working the lats. Reverse fly. Superman's. Drugs. Nice. Nice. Like, um, I do, I do military press, but, um, I do military press like on my chest day usually. You go. You 
still can't like make it up there, which I don't know if you need to make it up there. <clears throat> I don't have any heavy weights. So I don't normally do a lot of compound movements. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I have like a like my home gym pretty much is a, this old weeder bench. You know, uh, what's his name? Joe weeder. Um, that my brother bought like for me when I was like a teen, which I still have. And so I use that in combination with the weights that came with it basically. And I have some other weights that I've gotten, you know, for free from like over time in various cases where somebody was given something away. But yeah, I use that pretty much. And that's like my whole setup basically. So I have those weights, so I stick to, to compound movements as much as possible, and um, that's what I go with. So, you know, I'll do bench, and then I'll do deadlifts, you know, on like a, a Wednesday, and um, I don't work like I don't have a squat rack, so squatting's like really tough for me. So I. I kind of do bar Bulgarian split squats as like a form of like, you know, targeting each leg as opposed to <clears throat> targeting both with like regular squats. Yeah, I find it a little better because yeah, I just, I don't have the setup to do, you know, squatting correctly, you know, in a safe manner, um, where I, you know, hopefully won't hurt myself type of thing. Um, so yeah, but I don't target, like, I'm not huge on targeting legs. Oh, I have to look that up, Kodo. I remember you mentioned to me and I thought about it after stream and I was like, oh, pistol squats. I need to look that up. And then I will admit I forgot <laughs> again. Um, I got to put it a reminder for myself in Discord to like look it up because I was going to look it up and then I was like, I forgot. Um, life took hold and I freaking went out of my brain. Yo, Ed, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. Welcome on in. Happy calf today. What's up? What's up? Uh, just recently this past year, bought a bench for $10 from a thrift store. Have some dumbbells up to 20 pounds, pull up bar and some bench. Hell yeah. That's a good setup. That's a good setup. Get yourself like a, you know, get yourself a, a um, when you can, you know, if you can find a, a nice, um, a, a, a nice cheap, um, barbell, like, and, and then See if you can get some some 25 pound weights or something like that and go from there i think that's that's fine your setup sounds awfully similar to my setup kind of you're not that strong but you look good i'm honestly i'm not that strong either which is why i'm working on it i you know i want to get stronger but yeah it's it's tough <clears throat> and I, I also don't look the best either but i'm working on that as well Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to keep your body moving. I got gotcha. you. Barbell is your next investment. Uh, the amount of space you have. Oh, true. Yeah, if you're living in a small space, it's tough. I get it. I get it. I have my stuff in my basement. But yeah, it's tough, man. I don't have a lot of space either, but you're working on a lot less than I have too, so... Um, all in retrospect and, um, yo, I got to hand it to you for, for, um, using the space that you have efficiently and, and getting stuff. Calf swole dream. I'm trying it. I'm trying buddy. Yo, hell yeah. You like, you like hollow Knight? I'm digging it, buddy. I'm big digging it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm afraid to go down there because I see these guys and it looks like I'm not gonna be able to get back up if I jump down there. Oh yeah, that's right. You have you have bikes too. It's not even like your your fitness setup from like a you know a strength standpoint. You have the bikes too. <laughs> Buying a third one next year. Gosh, yeah, priorities, right? <clears throat> and do what makes you happy too. If you're happier riding bikes, then you know, go with go that route. Like do what makes you happy.
Crystal Peak. And I do not have a map for this area. Can I? I can't jump up there. Okay, these guys. You can only hit these guys in the front. Do they explode or anything? I actually have a friend that just left today to do a two-week bike trip in the U. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, you hear about that guy that's doing... Um, I, I, I don't know if he does this a lot, but he's doing a bike ride, like, across the America. Like, across USA. The America. That was a stupid way to say it. Across USA. Um, from the west to the east, like he started in, I don't know, it was California or like Washington or something state. <clears throat> He's riding like all across the USA. Hmm. Going to be negative 15 snowing and a lot of grizzly bears. Oh my gosh. That's nuts. It's actually wild. I could not do that. I don't do well with the the cold. I like the summer much more personally. Nice. Got those guys. Yeah, across the America. Yeah. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing to say across the America. Can I blow your mind? Go for it, man. You can blow more than that. <laughs> Insert CFB chortle. <laughs> Thanks, LCG. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> uh, there are people that challenge the Guinness World Record for cycling around the whole around the whole world. There's even a dude named Ed Pratt that took a unicycle. What? How does one do that? Literally riding a unicycle is like super hard to begin with, isn't it? Like with the whole balancing act, but riding around the whole world. And at what, how do you like measure that? Like, because obviously the whole world is not connect, connect, wait, 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 wait. So is it just they're riding, they're like, they're, they're not physically going to each continent and like, riding across right so th they're just riding the equivalent of that amount of you know miles or whatever they're actually going to the different continents and going from like you know one side to the other side that's actually freaking ridiculously nuts that's dumb stupid nuts like wow people are people are freaking pretty insane <laughs> Because I was like, wait, 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 you know, like. Like, I wanted to make sure I was understanding correctly, like, what exactly, you know, was going on here. Like, is it just somebody is, like, covering the distance, you know, the equivalent distance, you know, but doing it locally or something? Or, like, actually going to the continents and just going from one side to the other? Like that's, that's ridiculous, especially considering the, um, the conditions would be so much different. Like, you know, <clears throat> like in some areas, I'm assuming you're just not going to have like paved roads. Maybe, right? looks suspicious 
That's suspicious. Starts in the UK, goes down into Russia and Asia, then goes to Australia and New Zealand, then crosses them. Jeez. What a time investment. Oh. Not to mention the, you know, the whole money involved and everything, but that's, I mean, obviously he's three years. <laughs> Golly. I mean, obviously you're making a, a YouTube series about it too, right? And so, um, obviously people are watching that. He's, he's probably going to, you know, get some revenue back from that and stuff, but holy cow, the time investment on that three years of time invested. <clears throat> to do that whole thing. What a feat, though. What an amazing, like, feat of just resilience. Imagine just be waking up one day and being like, you know... I think I'm going to unicycle across the entire world. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, sir. Whoa, did he just... Damn you, you little jerk. He killed me. He actually killed me. And now I have to make my way all the way back over there. Cool. Cycling world record for circumnavigating the world. 18,000 miles in 78 days. But that's obviously that's on a normal bike, not a, uh, a unicycle, <laughs> but <laughs> but still that took over two, like two and a half months to do it on a regular bike, 18,000 miles to go around the whole entire world. That is ridiculous. People are wild, man. So I guess, yeah, that, that puts the whole, that puts the whole like cycling across the US thing, I guess a little bit to shame. 230 miles per day. That's a, that's a long way. That's a long way. I wonder if they took any time off. You dummy. Can't believe I just did that. I wonder if they took any time off or they just kept cycling every single day. I imagine they would keep cycling, but man, I wonder if there's some days where you're just like, I just don't want to do this today. <laughs> I mean, at that level, it's, of course it's an achievement. That's a ridiculous achievement. That's, that's mind boggling. Um, oh, I can get rid of this now. Yeah, we're going right. The crystal peak. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Wait. Not this one, though. Oh, I wonder... This connects, huh? That must connect. <clears throat> Maybe I can finally connect those two. I think it was every single day. Wait, hold up. It was a supported ride, so he was followed by an RV. People had people handling his nutrition. So I'm like, oh, wow. So he had like a dedicated team and stuff, which is honestly, that's the way to do it. That's the safe way to do it and everything. Obviously, you know, if you have um, like a doctor with you and everything to oversee, you know, all the fatigue, all the like, just, yeah, muscle soreness, everything, you know, monitoring your vitals. 
that goes along with that because that's that's a wild freaking ride that's not easy and <clears throat> Definitely not easy and can be quite dangerous as well. Can be quite dangerous. It's an unsupported record held that took a hundred. Oh, there's an unsupport. Oh, so somebody did it with no help at all and it took them 124 days. Oh, shoot. So the person that had the whole team it took them like, you know, two, two and a half months, but there was somebody that just did it on their own with no help at all and did it in 124 days, which would be like, what, four months ish <clears throat> approximately. Uh, no map. That's right. Uh, Right, I need to find myself and kill myself. Pleaded her attempt on October 2018. A total of 120. She cycled the route solo, totally unsupported, often sleeping, uh, in sleeping rough in drainage ditches or behind bushes. Golly. So this, so I wonder if the person that did it supported was like sleeping in the RV, like in good conditions and whatnot. And this person just literally slept on the ground pretty much. That is hardcore. That's hardcore. Wait, where's my... Where's my body? It's up there. What are you doing up there? I didn't die up there. How do I even get up there? Why? I don't know, Aniv. That's what I'm wondering. People are lunatics. It's just, I mean, People want to be, you know, famous and do something. And, ah, uh, I had to test that. Does that flip on its own? Oh, rest area. Nice. People want to be, you know, world renowned. They want to be the first person to do something. They want, you know, acknowledgement and recognition and everything. What the hell? Why did my controller just all of a sudden die? Huh? What the frick? It's really weird. Oh, of course. You, you, yeah, you genuinely have to love it. Of course. You have to have a passion for it. You've been doing it for a long time type of thing. Definitely. It was really weird, my... Oh, oh. Hmm. Interesting area. How the hell do I get to my my body? Yeah, you don't you don't find Joe Schmo that has never really cycled and never really, you know, cared about cycling all of a sudden going, you know, I want to cycle across the world. I don't know where I'm going. 
I have another rancid egg. Do I have two of them now? Okay, that is spikes there. There was nothing else there. I think. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else there. Um... Oh. Hmm. All right, keep it moving this way, I guess. How the hell do I get back to my body? Why did it put it up there though? Like it don't make sense. Everything I do doesn't point back to me actually getting my body back. I don't know how to get it back. That was like the worst place to die. How did that not hit him? All right, I'm... It's like you need to come from the top. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Rick, glad to have you here. Follows are anonymous. Feel free to hang out. But welcome. Happy capture day. Oh, let's see. Was there nothing really here except for those two guys? Was that it? something to say sir <clears throat> is it too late for coffee of course not Why would it be too late drink drink espresso like I know whenever I want <laughs> kinda I've drank it at like seven eight nine o'clock
because the effects wear off within like five hours, but um, within, you know, a couple hours, it's like, I'm already sort of like coming down anyway. Oh, cool. That was, that was really, really good. You jerk. I'm going to die. That's two times now I've died. So now what happens <clears throat> if I'm double dead? Is my body still up here too? not up there. Oh, I think I got screwed. What I think happens is I think you get screwed. I think you lose the first one. So now you can only regain the second one. I probably just lost like a whole bunch of currency. Yeah, you lose. That's yep. I'm screwed. But my body was in such a bad place that like I couldn't even get it back pixel is the problem. Welcome on in, by the way. Hope you're having a good day. Happy calfter day. Uh, I, I, my, I died in, in that area. I went to that room back there, but where I died, my shadow wasn't there. My shadow was like up somewhere where I couldn't even get to it. So I was kind of screwed. Like this one I can actually get to because it's right here. So I did lose. I did lose like several hundred. Like I could actually recover this one, but the other one I couldn't recover. I don't know if I was just screwed or what. But it seemed that way. These guys. Oh, come on, dude. He's going to follow me over. I don't like these guys. He's shooting at me. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Glad to have you here. All those are anonymous. Feel free to hang out. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Pixel, though. I Yeah, that's why I figured. I think I do, too. Oh, you, you think... Wait, so, Kodo, does it get, like, flared up from, from coffee and stuff? I, I, I'm not familiar with, like, what, you know, flares up that type of condition, but... I'm assuming maybe coffee does that. That's what people tell me when I describe stuff. You feel completely fine within three seconds. Your body is like, oh my gosh. I mean, I've had those types of instances, Kodo, but I don't, I didn't think it was because of that. Spicy or greasy stuff. Crystal heart. No, I don't think so. Yo, Ronan. Welcome, buddy. Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well today. People Brazils. Wait, don't I? Uh, I thought I had it. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I had the people Brazil. Um, do I have the crystal heart? I don't think I do. So... If not, then oh well. <laughs> but welcome on in, man. Uh, hope you're doing well today. Oh, cool. 
What the hell? So you say hola afterwards? Nice. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Oh. Is that it? Still don't have the map for this area. So it's like I'm traveling pretty far in. With no map. Mechanism with a slot for some kind of pass. Oh, this is the other side of the, of the like trolley car thing, right? That must be what that is. What is this? <clears throat> to protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. In her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian, the watcher, in his spire, looking over the city. Hera, the beast, in her den, amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, hollow nest lasts eternal. Dreamer locations added to the map. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel or by that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet, our, yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Damn, this game's freaking cool, man. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Bruh. Hey, yo. falling down into the nothing also stress if you're super stressed or anxious about anything your body evacuates yeah maybe because mine doesn't do that but i mean i have had those instances where it's like oh crap i need to go but no, i don't think it's due to like stress or anything like that i eat a lot of vegetables and stuff so i figure i you know i attribute it to that type of thing Fresh, raw vegetables. What a terrible fate they visited upon you to cast you away into this space beyond body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Yo, am I getting a new weapon? Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, let's go. We got a new nail. Let's go. Take the dream nail. Hold Y to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. Yo, this is dope. Whoa. What are my top three veggies? Gosh. Um, 
I like. Let me see. We got tomatoes. I like carrots a lot. I like cauliflower. Radishes are pretty cool. <clears throat> Broccoli is good too, but I eat it raw, so I don't find it like particularly that tasty, but I do eat it. But like normally on a daily, I'll have like a big plate of like a serving of a uh, serving of carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, tomato, some radishes. Um, sometimes I'll have a salad with like spring mix and stuff. Um, just to keep, just to keep them like as, as whole as possible. Like, you know, if you, if you were to like boil them, you know, they say that you take out some of the, um, some of the vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. So yeah. So I tend to eat them just raw to get the, the best out of them. That's, that's basically it. Um, and they say you should eat, I forget how many servings a day, but yeah, I'm getting about that much. I forget if it's like five, six or seven. I think it's like five or six, something like that. But yeah, sometimes I get like seven servings of vegetables a day. <clears throat> Use the dream nail to get soul from enemies. All right. Thanks, Pixel. You've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit, that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. <clears throat> collect it wherever you wherever you find it and bring it to me once we have enough we can work wonders together go out into the world wielder hunt down the essence that lingers there collect 100 essence and return to me i will teach you more cool. uh you join discord your photo is finn from adventure time with goku from dragon ball drinking beer yo that's cool ronan thank you so much for joining i appreciate that a lot man um, check out the roles and social channel, but otherwise, you know, just make yourself at home. Really. Um, there's some, there's some roles that you can manually add and remove yourself if you, uh, if you want to do that, but otherwise, yeah, just make yourself at home, enjoy the emotes and, uh, happy to have you there and, 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 and um, look forward to conversations lurking, but I hope you enjoy the game a ton. Thank you, Lily. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. I'm enjoying it a lot, lot for sure. This game's freaking awesome and I'm super loving it. But uh, yeah, feel free to hang out, lurk, and enjoy yourself. You think you mostly air fry your veggies? I never tried that before, but I love the air fryer for like chicken nuggets and stuff. I love the crisp nature that it gets. And you get it really quick from an air fryer. Still on practice in the way to collect 100 essence. If you visit me again, I'll share what list of essence can be found wherever dreams take root. Those whispering plants that grow all over this old kingdom. Whispering plants. There is one just outside. Why not strike with it and see what? Oh, okay. Let's, let's see. So do I need to equip this? Let me see. It might have auto equipped, but wait. Oh, this thing. Oh. Which, by the way, if anybody else wants to join the Discord, here's the link for that. We have um, a live, uh, a live roll Discord bot in there. Um, we've got some a lot of great emotes, um, and uh, some cool channels and just some good conversation. Uh, what's my food eating strat? Like, do you intermittent fast or anything? I. I don't necessarily intermittent fast, um, but I do have like an eating plan where I eat five meals a day. <clears throat> I'm targeting for my meal eating. I'm targeting um, one pound of body weight per day. Uh, what am I? 
how do I say this? Um, my protein is, is equal to my, my body weight. Um, like per day. So I eat my, okay. I'm 200 pounds. So I eat 200 grams of protein per day. Um, and then fats, I eat 0.3 grams of my body weight per day, which is 60 grams because I'm 200. And then the rest I eat is carbs. That's, that's, that's what I eat. <laughs> okay. So that's not that. <clears throat> you also joined discord. Thank you, pixel. I appreciate that a lot. Again, <clears throat> check out, um, the roles, um, the roles channel, and you can manually add, remove roles that you want. And then, um, but make yourself at home. Enjoy the emotes. Glad to have you there and hope to have some good conversations with you. How many carbs do I eat? Currently I'm eating like, I can even look it up. Hold on. Um, so I have the, my fitness pal app. If you've got, if you've got that, that's a really good tool for, um, for tracking things. Um, let me see. So my goals are like 260 and then like, let's say, I don't know, let's say like 250 plus in carbs per day. So yeah, like 200 grams of protein, 60 grams of fats and like 250 plus grams of carbs. I'm eating like 2,500 grams of, uh, calories or 200, 2,500 2, calories a day currently. Yo, wait, what? Wait, huh? Do I have to do these in some sort of order? What's going on? Oh, you just have to collect them? Oh. It's like, wait, huh? Ugh! Jeez, this just keeps going. Is that it? 20? Interesting. Okay, so now the tree is different. <clears throat> Dead remembered. Penitent moth. Dreams revered. Interesting. Wait, what did it say? Carefully near graves and other monuments. Why, well, I believe I saw an interesting gravestone here in the resting grounds. If you do decide to disturb those dreams, though, be prepared for a fight. Whoa, wait. Yo, C, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. How's it going, buddy? Hey, do you go to that concert yet, or is that, uh, um, is that still upcoming? Well, come on in, buddy. Happy Cafter Day. Hope you're doing well today, dude. Your weekend starting out good. Oh, Tuesday. Nice, man. It's coming up. Hell yeah. Sometimes dreams take shape of those who have passed away. Such dreams are bountiful sources. Of, you should search carefully near graves or other monuments. Okay, so. Yo, Jeffrey, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, man. Are we doing well today? Happy calf today. Hope your weekend starting out good. What's up? What's up? Um... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's going to be an ad starting in about a, you know, minute. Um, so just FYI. Appreciate you guys being here. It's it's a forced ad that Twitch makes me play, so mm. 
Hmm. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Just enjoying my weekend and enjoying this game so far. Oh, you have turbo? Nice, dude. That's actually really good. That's a good alternative to um to get, you know, um get through the ads and everything. You'll forgive me. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, buddy. Weekend is not long enough is, yeah, I agree. Definitely needs to be extended by some more days. I've got some time off coming up, so I'm happy about that. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to like pause real quick while the, the ad rolls through. So nobody has to miss anything. How do I get out of here now? <clears throat> it's definitely the best. I agree. Hmm. Okay, so we definitely don't go this way. Oh, long time no see. I was wondering what that meant. I'm just going to stop real quick while the ad's running. I had never heard that one before. <clears throat> All right, we should be back from the ad. Thanks everybody again for sticking through with that. Appreciate you. I can't even like get up here. Like I feel like I need to go up there, but I can't even get up there. Yeah, I never heard a uh, long LTNS before like as a long time no see. Why do you only get ads for horror movies? I think they're showing like a lot of them. <clears throat> There's been a lot of ads for, for horror movies lately. Um, because obviously it's October and yeah, even, even when I was watching stuff with my kids, like the exorcist one was coming on and I was like, bruh. <clears throat> I'll let that one slide. Cause I like it. Thanks. All right, so I can't seem to go down here and doing this doesn't do anything, I think. Let me try this one. I don't know. I know it won't do anything, but. How the hell do I? Oh, wait. Okay, this isn't. A white light coming from no nothing there dark souls is much more interested in stream for a pyramid while wow, you're right aniv go one down oh or okay i found it right here So there's nothing to the left. No, nah, you're all right. You're all right. I found it. <clears throat> I found it. I knew I had to look around. Sorry, I missed you. If you're feeling nice, want to purchase a map? Yeah, I want a map. Wait, which area is this? Is this the same area? Oh, nice. You've opened up several stacks, haven't you? I'm thankful for the opportunity once more travel. 
As I visit more places, I feel more memories return like the stagways in my mind. I want to continue open to stay so I have my deepest credit. Let's see if we can go get the map for this place. Uh, I was watching a streamer in South Africa and I said, chilling like a villain. And he said, never heard that one. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Chilling like a villain's old school. I'm just chilling like a villain. Just because it rhymes. <laughs> See, money's like, that's bougie. And they're like, huh? Patamas, chill. What does bougie mean? Ah, <clears throat> Sacred place not far from the crossroads. Cornifer told me he found the area serene and calming, but it sounds a bit spooky. Uh interesting like graves and shrines all right so now i have more things to buy i'm gonna buy this ah i keep buying things lamping i don't know if i heard lamping before Uh, yeah, of course, Jeffrey. Yeah, given his location, it's like chilling, hanging out. Ah, oh. are we just lamping? Can you do damage to enemies with this? I bet you you can't. Nice. I pressed and held the button. Bet you you can't. <clears throat> no, no. Eat when? Oh, you can. That's actually interesting. And they have different things that they say. Scared? Interesting. So, Jeff, are you going to that concert by yourself? Or you got, like, a homie or homies that you're going with? Yeah, I see. You don't do any damage with it, but it it gives you this, uh, like, interesting text that, like, they're saying something, you know, in their minds. Even the enemies have, like, thoughts in their minds of, like... Like, they're talking. To the, uh... To the, the Wu... The Wu show. Oh, did I say Jeff? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just my brain going burr. <laughs> and they have soul too. That's actually really freaking cool, man. Let me see if there's somewhere I can go here now. Yeah, I my bad, Jeff. I I messed up. I said the wrong name. Well, cuz I was streaming, I just said like the I don't know. I meant see money, but I I ended up saying Jeff by accident. It happens. My brain just go burr sometimes and I say the wrong thing. It do be doing things sometimes. 
But yeah, are you going C with uh with some peeps or anybody? Or are you just going by yourself? A bunch of my old friends are going. We got tickets together. Nice. Thinking about seeing Lauren Hill, but the tickets were too pricey. Yo, Lauren Hill would be cool too. I do be messing up LCG. I do be. Let me go up here to the left. Not that I listen to a lot of Lauren Hill's music, although I know she's like, she has a lot of good songs. <clears throat> I do like the few tracks that I've heard. Gosh, I can't believe I didn't make that jump. You oh, you going to an NSYNC concert, LCG? I don't think I knew that. Uh oh shoot. Uh, here I am filling up my thing and Oh, this. That's right. Oops. Hey, Ellen. Welcome back. <sighs> Come on. Ah, stupid. Can almost do it. <laughs> Where was the save point? I think it's like down into the left or something. I need to heal up. Heal me. Oh, I already saw that. be up here. Oh, Blink-182 is back with some new stuff. I didn't realize those guys were still doing it. <laughs> Did you really? So wait, he hasn't posted the vid yet? <clears throat> Nova Charter hasn't posted the vid for his, uh, his dance yet? So he recorded it, but he hasn't posted it yet. I can't go. I can't do that one yet. Oh, I can get rid of this. Hold up. I can get rid of this. I can go that way now. Let me go down. <clears throat> I'm going to go down over here. Right into those spikes. Perfect. You're only a semi-fan of NSYNC's new vid. It's kind of mid. Ooh. Were you a big fan of their other songs in, in you know... Their earlier works. Oh, 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 uh, uh. I'm just curious if you were like a big fan, you know, back in the day, but now you hear this one and it's kind of like, meh, you know? You were more of a backstreet girl? Gotcha. What, 98 degrees can't get no love? No love for 98 degrees? Okay, so I can get here now. So I'm going to get rid of this. I think. <clears throat> 
You loved Nick Lachey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, hold up. Hey, yo. Nice. Just randomly found that. That's cool. <clears throat> you like them all? Jeffrey, I didn't know you were such a big fan. JT had it going on, though. What area is this? Fungal waste? Oh, man. Yo. That man just farted? JT had it going on, though. Um, he, he had, like, the smoothest tracks, I feel like. But that's because he had Timbaland behind him, too. You know what I mean? Like, Timbaland had... Timbaland was a good producer. People didn't respect him, like, when he was, like, rapping on songs or whatever. Or when he would, like, vocal on, on tracks. But... Um, but his... His tracks, like, that he would produce... Timbaland had it going on. <clears throat> I karaoke the hell out of NSYNC Backstreet 98 degrees. Let's go see. I liked NSYNC, just preferred Backstreet Boys. I, I wasn't NSYNC obsessed. Gotcha, Alan. Swapped against. Yeah, you see money would see money's all over the spectrum of, of musical taste here. 2020 vision was a masterpiece. Hell yeah. I need you to call 911. All right, I'm on it. <laughs> you like all the boy bands? Ooh, woo. I farted. It's true. Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. I'm like actually dumb. What the mushroom do though? Okay. Fungal waste. He shouldn't wrath to be honest, but he's he's been hot since Missy. E exactly, exactly. Yeah. His his producing, like his tracks, I think are dope, but yeah. He's like <laughs> I can just picture him, you know, singing, rapping, whatever you want to call it, like on on uh like uh gosh, what's her name? Aaliyah's songs. He's like, oh, baby girl, I'm the man from the big PA. Mom, to him, come on, baby, and listen to what I got to say. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, dude ain't got bars. <laughs> dude ain't got bars. But his tracks are good, though. You love Missy Elliott? Yeah, Missy had it going on. Not tonight? Yeah, not tonight. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, the tracks he be making are good, though. Yeah, right? Missy's still putting out solid music. I wonder if I can like, yeah, I can see I did it. I did it pro gamer. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, all right. So that would fall down there. I feel like there's almost something like up there or something, but you can't get to it. Um, Wait, wait, are you supposed to, are you supposed to, what, huh? Yo, Dom, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. How you doing today? It's good to see you, man. Are we having a good weekend? Happy calf today. Gaming? Imagine. Oh, Ellen, thanks for the clip. Ellie, uh, Ellie or one of the mods or something, y'all want to throw that in Discord? 
Or Ellen, you can too if you want. But I know you're on mobile, so. You want to throw that in the Discord? That'd be that'd be good. Yo, Cosmic, what's up, my dude? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to see you. We're having a good weekend so far. Happy after day, buddy. What's up? What's up? You got me? Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate you. On it. Thank you, LCG. Thank you, mods. Oh, later in the game, you can get swimming in acid. I figured that that probably what it is, Pixel. Oh, this is a this is a bench right here. Yes, thank you, girls. I don't have a map. <clears throat> Waking my man make it up his own days of the week. That's bull mud. Exactly. You got it, man. That's like that's boss energy right there. See, I just make up days of the week. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do. How we do. Not arrogant or anything, you know. Not arrogant at all. Don't try to sneak past me. I can smell you. You collect a lot of geo. Give me geo and you can see something nice. Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo. Oh, is that what this dude be doing? Fragile heart. This is a precious thing. Beautiful charm. I made it for you. I'll hold it. You'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. <clears throat> very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to... Uh... Wait, what? Hold this charm and go hunting. It will make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. Fragile heart, fragile greed, fragile strength. Okay, so this dude's a shop then. Alright, cool, cool, I guess. More things for me to buy. Super modest, exactly. Super modest, see? Super modest. Not arrogant at all. Super modest. I was listening to Roll Out by Ludacris on my commute yesterday. It was stuck in my head all day. Roll out! Roll out! Dude, Luda had, like... Tell me Luda wasn't, like, on top of the game, like, at one point. That man was just putting out... V music videos like one after another and they were all just like ridiculously awesome that man was just on like a re he, yeah like he just like had the game in a headlock at one point <clears throat> like everything he put out was just like good like damn oh cool I get hurt by this water. For show, sure, for show. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Move, yeah. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Best driving song ever. Drive, dr drive while listening to that on the highway when you're going like 80. Oh, nice. Imagine dashing. Imagine dragons. It's true, though. Best driving song ever made. If you're doing the speed limit, stay the hell out of my way. Yep. That song is funny as hell. What is over here? I have a feeling I'm not going to want to be here. Oh, shoot. That stuff stays on the ground. Sir, you're going to give yourself a headache? No! 
Okay, we're gonna do this. Um, <laughs> love for show. Yeah, for sure, Jeffrey. That's like one of the best sayings. Ghostface dropped the new album that you should check out. Oh, shoot, for real? Ghostface still doing it, huh? Like, wasn't he on tour recently? Charm Notch. Wait, did I just get a new Charm Notch? Yo, finally? About damn time. Him and Ray always touring. They still, they still about that, that money. They still about making that money. See now what's, what's like, what's RZA doing? Oh, I killed the kids. What's RZA been doing? Like, I know he was doing the, the movies and stuff, but now it seems like he's sort of quiet. Like, I don't know what he's doing. <clears throat> Uh, I was hoping for a muscle tea you were I will give talking you about. A charm notch, daddy, la 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 la. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> nice. I was hoping for a muscle tea you were talking about. Your swole arms last night. Yeah, yeah, they're right here. They're right there. They're there. Riz is producing for everybody. I mean, he's still he's still doing his thing for for the producing stuff, but he's not doing anything himself. Like he was doing the movies and stuff. He just doesn't flaunt and scoring movies and us. Oh, okay. Okay. Like I want to, what I want to do is I want to go back and watch, um, his, his movies. Um, shoot. What were they called? Um, iron, what was it? Iron fist or something like that. What the hell was it called? I want to go back and watch them. I'd watched them before and like, I thought they were good, but like, I wasn't a huge fan and I, I want to see if like, I'll, I, you know, go back and watch him again. Ghost, ghost dog. Way of the sand. Is it, wait, is ghost dog? Is is that the one with, um, oh gosh, what's his name? What's that guy's name? Man, I forget his name. It's got that... He's like kind of an older school a actor with the googly eye. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about with the googly eye. Yeah, the dude with the, <laughs> the dude with the eye. Yo, even Dom knows the dude with the eye. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. The dude with the eye. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. That's so funny. Both of them were like the dude with the eye. Um, gosh, I feel like his name's like, like almost on the top of my tongue type of deal. But oh my gosh, what are you? Yo, he went down in the acid and died. Forrest Whitaker, Forrest Whitaker. I knew his name was like on the top of my tongue, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember hearing that movie was like actually dope. Does Riza have a does Riza have a um a hand in that movie? If he does, I didn't he did all the music? I didn't know that. About that one. Like legit, I didn't know that. I didn't even know he's in that movie either. You should watch that movie, it's a classic. Hell yeah, dude. Um, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Literally, I actually dude, I actually used to have that movie, funny enough. I, Cause I remember, and I never watched it. It was, my mom would always buy these movies randomly, like, and she would just have them. Like, it's weird. Like, I don't understand why she would do it, but she would just buy movies and then she would keep them around and they'd literally be in the plastic. Like she wouldn't even watch them. I feel like she just had them to like return them at some point. It was like, it was like holding like like a like a like a bond or something like she would just buy it and then like she would return it for money like i don't even get it but yeah, discount bin exactly she would just like buy them and i had that one i exactly right and if so i had samurai dog or whatever it's called um and i remember my friend coming over and be like oh dude you got that movie and i was like yeah i guess like 
not making fun. No, I know we're not making fun. It was just funny that like that was the discerning characteristic, you know? Um, I didn't know he's a minor character in that though. Exactly on the, the this discount bench. She would always do stuff like that. <clears throat> She's on that grind, right? Freaking jerk. He got me with that. Um, but yeah, I had that movie, but I never watched it. Like when, when I had it. So I kind of like, I feel like kind of like now, like, damn, maybe I should have watched it back then, but I'm sure I can find it somewhere. So it's all good. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, those things explode. That's not cool. Can I get health one more? Yeah, thanks. Damn. Okay, those are not cool. I'm almost dead now. Oh, frick. Damn it. Uh, the man with the iron fist. That's what it was called. The man with the iron fist. <clears throat> like, I remember thinking the first one was pretty good. And then the second one, I was like, ah, like, I don't know. But I kind of want to go back and watch them again. Just to see if, like, I don't know. Maybe it was just me at the time or whatever, whatever. Like, was his kung fu movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he directed it, starred in it, scored. Yeah, he was like the main character. They jumped too? What the hell? Damn it. Annoying little buggers. But yeah, that's that's the one. There's two of them. There's the first one and then there's the second one. And I've watched both of them because I was big in the Kung Fu at one point. So obviously, like, these dudes knew all the Kung Fu movies. So I would always listen to, like, what they were talking about, you know? Like, if they liked the movie, I was like, hell yeah, I got to see that movie because, you know. Damn, dude. Takes a lot to kill those guys. All right, so that's how you do it. The anime Afro Samurai he scored too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've heard of that. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. But I haven't watched like a lot of anime, so <clears throat> your grandpa had Betamax. Oh my gosh, grandpa be having all the old school tech. That's hot, right? That do be hot. This has got to be a boss battle. This has got to be a boss battle. It all of a sudden got real quiet. Actually dumb. All right, let me get back to my body. I, I, I mean, I don't mind it. I just haven't watched a lot of it. And because of that, I don't have like this like, like crazy deep, like love for it. You know what I mean? I just haven't watched a lot of it. I've, I pushed myself to watch like some some of the like what do, you, what do you call them studio ghibli or whatever movies um i watched like howl's roaming moving castle or whatever the hell um and gosh what was what was the other ones um like princess mononoke and stuff like that <clears throat> and they were like cool but like
Um, but yeah, I just never watched like enough of that type of stuff to really be like, yeah, like most people literally can tell you like hundreds of movies that they like love. I haven't, I haven't even watched like, um, gosh, what's the one that everybody has seen? The one that has Tetsuo in it. Um, shoot. I forget the name of it, but Akira. Yeah, I haven't even watched Akira. And that's the one that, like, everybody has, like, seen. Like. Oh, you can just blow them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can just blow themselves up. Your time is limited with your 18 kids. Exactly. Exactly. See, you know. You get it. Well, that's the way you do it. Just have them blow themselves up. Maybe over here is a safe spot. Akira is one that I should watch because it's very beloved. Why is this place like super quiet too? What is that? Doesn't look like a boss. Wait, child, why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage, ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us. They were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware, dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. Ah, uh, all right. I'm not going to challenge him yet. I want to find a safe spot, dude. I do want to challenge him, but I just want to find a safe spot first. <clears throat> it's gorgeous. Definitely watch it at some point. Yeah, I definitely have to do that. Like, you're you're right. Especially that one. Like, I don't have to watch all these obscure animes and whatnot, but... Okay, what is that noise? Whoa. Lee and Cla the tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer. So we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, I? Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior swords. So she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. <clears throat> Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, I definitely have to watch that one at some point. You know what I watched last night? Um, I know Ellen said that she had fell asleep watching, what was it, Freddy vs. Jason or one of the Jason movies? She said in, was it in Discord? Um, I had watched uh, Bottoms last night. It is that um, comedy movie, that new comedy movie. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you gotta... You gotta attack the bounce. Power bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power bottom. Yep, you got it. It's actually this movie about, um... Like, these high school lesbian girls that, like... Um... Start up, like, a fight club type thing. It's pretty funny. It's like... I read this article recently that was, like, the return of, like, the raunchy comedy type, type deal. Um, and that one and the movie Strays were like the two movies that they highlighted. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Like, it wasn't like great, but you know, it was good enough. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to movies. And I, I was like, yeah, this is fine. It had, like, interesting moments and whatnot. It's it's kind of dumb at some points, but, like, I just didn't take it really seriously. You know, I'm like, it's a comedy, like, it's whatever. Yeah, 
exactly exactly and that's what it that's literally what it was was just like yeah it's it's a goofy comedy movie i didn't take it really seriously and i just i just watched it and and tried tried to enjoy it for what it what it is basically with that said it was it was fine I don't think I, I don't think it's the type of movie that I would like watch again. I don't think it's worth like maybe a second watch <clears throat> and I wouldn't go out of my way to like, you know, pay for it or, um, oh, damn you pay for it or, you know, something like that. What? what the frick? Does that dude explode again? But it, it was uh it was fine for a, a first watch. Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh. Going back up here. Okay. Where where's the rest area? Where's the rest area? I just want to know where I can rest. Um. Oh. I, I, I need to fight that dude. That dream warrior or whatever he's called. I need to find a rest area first before I can do that. Because I don't have a map or anything. It kind of sucks. Oh, frick. Blow up. Yeah, I got him. Very, very close to that, that thing. Whoa. <laughs> I just want to find a freaking rest area oh hey hey I found one alright let me actually heal up once twice oh what do we got over there why is this one like expelling ink? <clears throat> yeah, I put all my YouTube bot or I put all my VODs from from the channel onto the YouTube, so the history is always the, always there and stuff. So yeah. Thanks for checking out that video by the way, C. Appreciate that, man. And, and commenting on it and stuff. Wait, what did that just do? Opened up this or? <clears throat> yeah, man, I actually got a few different people that like commented on um, a couple different people. Well, you including that commented on that video um, for Hollow Knight. And, you know, I, a lot of people are into this game. <clears throat> and because of that, they're like, oh, yeah, I want to see, you know, your progress. As you make more progress in the game and stuff like that. And I'm 
I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Oh, damn it. I forgot that dude explodes again. <laughs> yeah, some people like the long play format, which is cool. Like, um, that's basically what it is because um, I am putting the VODs that are from Twitch, like, right on there for historical and just, like, so people that watch on YouTube, you know, can see it as well. So, yeah, the record of, like... You know, the bulk of my streams is all on there. You can see all the streams from the early days, pretty much. <clears throat> I've been doing that from, like, way at the beginning. Hey, Golden Gamer. Welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. Happy Cafter Day. Good to have you here. Hope everything's going excellent. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just chilling, playing this and enjoying the hell out of it. Making some good progress today. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Finally. I'm just about finished charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their homes within this area. I suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them were they to turn violent. Uh, purchase a map. Hell yes. Hell yes, please. I need this map, like, really bad. There's a potent odor, odor about these caverns, and far worse for me, I suspect. My trunk is quite sensitive, whereas you don't seem to possess a scent organ of any kind. Is it that you cannot smell it all? <clears throat> all right. Well, at least we've got the um, the map finally. Oh, I'm really freaking loving it, Golden Gamer. Seriously. It has been a wild ride, and I'm enjoying every freaking part of it. <laughs> Seriously. I put it off for a while playing this, and I mentioned that in the in the YouTube comments. Some of them see the money that I got. Was that, you know, I had put it off playing it for a while, and now that I am playing it, I'm like, dude, why did I put off playing this? Because it's so good. And I'm loving it. Um, let me see. So. I think I need to go back. Where was it? To this area over here. I think right here was where this guy was that I wanted to fight. I'm assuming you've played through it before. You played this game really late as well, and it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Seriously, it's really growing on my list. I was seeing people that were making lists of like their favorite games, and this game was on it, and now it's like kind of becoming that way for me. But I'm a big fan of like Metroidvania type games. So I'm not surprised that this game, you know, is is pretty much becoming a quick, you know, favorite of mine. Because it's the exact type of game that I really enjoy. It's just so much fun. Ah, dang it. You never played a Metroidvania before this, but you still really like it? Yeah, like, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, Super Metroid and then um, Symphony of the Night. And, like, I've played Ghost Song, and I thought that was cool. Um, gosh, what other Metroidvanias? I'm sure there's, you know, a lot of others that I've played and enjoy, but... But I tend to enjoy those types of games, and then other, you know, the platforming this is good. It feels smooth. It just feels good to play. Like, I think the controls feel really good and smooth. It's an easy system to pick up and get, but it gets like, it gets a, like a little bit harder. You know, the enemies, it's not like a really crazy progression on the difficulty. <clears throat> it's just like, 
a little a little harder here and there the queen's station uh oh that was a far way to fall okay so Wait, what is this? Oh, rest area. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Open half of Hollow Nest stag stations. So I've opened up half of the of these stations already. Damn. I do want to make my way all the way back there, though. I want to fight that dude. So what about this way? Oh. Hello? <clears throat> Come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station and the taste is just divine. Willow. This place must once have been quite the hub. Built at the border between two lands, that misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming. So while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Though I do like the quiet in this station, a little company is always good for one's health. All right. Well, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There was a person right here. I don't know where said person went to. Fog Canyon? Oh, damn, another new area? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> There's a bunch of areas that are just like opening up all of a sudden. Okay, we can't go can't go up there yet to get that shard, which sucks. So let's go back here. And go this way. I want to try to go to the right. Oh, frick. I forgot about this guy. It's kind of tough to kill. Given how high he is up there. Uh, the only problem is that because you love it so much at the start, but the end game is super hard, but you love the game so much you keep playing. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's cool. Like, I, I've... I've, um, I've heard that, that there's some very challenging boss fights at the end, and I actually have seen some of it. So I, um, I know it's coming, but you're right. Um, you, and I'm cool for the challenge. Like I like a good challenge. Um, like I played Celeste, like I really love the challenge of Celeste and stuff. So it's, it's fine that there's going to be, um, these challenging boss fights at the end. I'm, I'm down for it and I know they're coming. So it's like, uh, it's, it's okay. Dang it. Oh, fell through. Oh, frick. Should probably just kill these guys myself and not use their bombs against them.
Ugh. Kinda because I can't even get over to them. Anyway. Yeah, Celeste is is up there as like one of my favorite, favorite games. That game is legit. Um, everything about that game. I could die in that game for hours and just not care. Because I think it's just that good. Frick, 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 frick. The soundtrack, the gameplay, I, I've done a crowd control of it and I thought it was just amazing. Are you kidding me? That didn't hit. Uh oh. Did that hit? That hit. Yes. All right, what is this? Hollow Nest Seal. I need to equip another charm, I think. What does this do? Whoops. Uh. Wait. What the hell is it? Hollow Nest Seal? Am I just dumb? Where the hell? Where the hell is that? <clears throat> Yo, Candelary, what's going on? Welcome on in. Are we having a good weekend? Good to see you and uh, happy calf today. Just finished getting all the strawberries in the main chapters, the crystal hearts and tapes. Now I'm getting. Now you're doing chapter eight. Hell yeah. Chapter eight's fun. Good luck. Good luck. It's it's pretty rough. Oh, where are the dreamers at? I forgot they're on my map. There's a dreamer up there. There's a dreamer over there. But I don't see... Oh, way down there. main inventory at the bottom. All right, let me take a look. Oh. Special seal of the kingdom of Hollowness, symbolizing the authority of the king and his knights. Relic from Hollowness, bestest item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank you. Oopsie. I thought it was an item or a charm or something. When did I get to the resting grounds? Is that this area? I forget the names of the areas already. Oh, this is the fungal ways. Um, I got to the resting grounds before here. Yeah, I managed to get through to the resting grounds because I went to the Forgotten Crossroads and I went to, um, what is it called? The Crystal Peak, I think it's called. And then I found my way into the, into there, like just blindly all of a sudden, like randomly. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting to find something. There's going to be an ad starting in roughly half a minute. So sorry, it's forced upon me by Twitch. I appreciate you sticking through. I'm a, I'll stop the gameplay so y'all don't miss out on anything. <clears throat> yeah, I think I, I hit the uh, resting grounds maybe earlier than 
maybe I should have. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but. Damn. Oh, nice. I can just. Yeah, the crystal beaks was kind of a little rough. Oh, damn. I didn't see that guy there. Took off two. Yikes. Um. I just go down. Whenever I find something, it's always locked behind a door. Like, give me the thing. <clears throat> Alright, just gonna pause for a second here. Just in case. Mm. Man, I'm hungry. some all right we should be back dang it thanks for sticking through the ad appreciate it sucks to have to deal with those nice do myself up Blew him up too, though. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, another locked door. I don't think there was anywhere to go where I can't, I can't reach anywhere over to the right. Oh. Yeah, I've just been taking my time. Um, I've been taking it slow. I haven't been doing like a, a ton, ton of stuff, but just exploring a lot, looking through. But yeah, as it's the first playthrough, I'm just like really sort of milking it, taking my time and enjoying it. Oh. Not rushing through it. Shower time? Ooh, woo. Get it. Get it, Ellie. I'm sure I could have gotten here much quicker if I was like really, really trucking quickly and oh frick, dude, where did you come from? And uh hmm. <clears throat> and actively trying to like move real quick and everything. Yo, DJ Susanu, what's up, dude? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well today and hope your uh, weekend starting off nice and good and well. Um, happy Cafter Day, buddy. How's it going? Wow. 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 Oh. Get hecked. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Just got off work, hanging out. Hell yeah, dude. Hope uh, work was all right for you today. Base God. Nice, man. Good, good emote combos. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it a lot. Follows are anonymous, just in case people want to hang out. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Wait, I can open... Wow, imagine messing up the buttons. Sometimes that dash just doesn't work. It was a good day, actually. Hell yeah, dude. Those don't come along all all the time, so happy to hear that it was a good day for you. Nice. Give me those ducats. Is there another one? Good days don't come around all the time, so you gotta take advantage of them while you can, man. Wait, I wanna rest up again, and then I wanna go fight that guy. Nice, good, good jump, good jump, quality jump. So, rest area is just up here. I can make that jump. Go up here. Boom, boom, boom. And rest areas right here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm down here. I'm going to go over here. I want to see about this dream fight. Music's so good. Yeah, <laughs> you can remember everything off the top of your head. Um, I know, have you ever done any randomizers of this game yet? Or is that something you're, you're at all interested in? I know people that have, that have done them. And they look pretty cool. You believe you're a Hollow Knight nerd? That's cool. Oh, just curious. Just, just wondering. <clears throat> I think they look pretty cool. I would, I would probably do them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this just this just got real. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Should have dashed. Hmm. What the hell am I doing? Like, I... 
<laughs> I'm hitting the dude a million times. <laughs> All right, let's let's try that again. Yeah, that dude had pancakes for days. Yeah, that was a first. That was a first time, like even seeing that dude's attacks. Danger cakes. Uh, all right, which way am I going? Down. This way. This way. <clears throat> Why do I feel like I've seen that emote before? I feel like I've seen that before. Not sure. Cool lick emote. All right, give me back my... Give me back me. Beware of glory, child. Ah, oh, come on. Got to the point where he was doing that attack, like I would attack him three times. And then he would just do that, this thing again. Like I attack him two times and he does it. mind it clears have we been sleeping child ah, i remember those proud lords were they truly monsters i remember their eyes now bright and clear why then did i fear them so if there was madness in that village it was i who brought it they were right to cast me out when i attacked they they were right to they were right to kill to kill me ah nice Oh, shoot. Now I can go back. We remember the elder. Wait, that's not what I want. Now I have 121. I can go back and speak to that old person. The emote on the stream is different from what it is for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, heck. I like that I can blow them up with their own, their own attack. Um, all right, where was I going? I want to go save, but I, I want to go back to the resting grounds. I want to speak to the old lady or whatever. The the seer? Is that what it was? Nice. Good jump. Good jump. Quality jump. Quality jump. Quality jump. Don't you fish I can me. 
Yo, Deathscore. What's going on, dude? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. And I hope your weekend's starting off on a high point. What's up? What's up? Happy Cafter Day. Happy Cafter Day. Go here. A wasado. <clears throat> um, all right. I need to. Oh, gosh. I got to travel all the way down to the Queens mm, station. All right. I can't go that way yet. So maybe I should put something on the map right here. So like, boom. Can't go there. You had Nutella pancakes. Thumbs up. Hell yeah, dude. Nutella pancakes are dope, brother. Thanks. Thanks, uh, DJ Susanu. For the hydrate. Bottoms up, buddy. Uh. Oops. <laughs> Nutella on anything is is S tier. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw that out there. You also had bean burritos, dude. Burritos are S tier too, so you're eating all the, the good stuff today. I'm kind of jealous. Whoops. I thought that dude was dead. Not going to lie. All right. I don't want to deal with those guys. I love burritos, man. Can't go wrong with a good burrito. There was another another enemy down there. Um oh gosh. We're going left. Station, bottom left. This one. Do we have any in here? I wonder if burrito means small donkeys. <laughs> I wonder if you could use the translate function. Translate burrito. No, it just translates as burrito. it's also in English words so maybe it maybe it just you know thinks it's an English word <clears throat> let me rest I guess we're in the resting grounds the forgotten crossroads wait yeah. yeah yeah that's what i thought that connects let's go see the seer let me have a look uh you've already collected on your quick work things come naturally to you don't they no wonder the dreamers tried to bury you in that old dream perhaps you frightened them or perhaps being prisoners themselves they desired your company in any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement for me. Return when you have collected 200 essence. Hollow nest seal. Oh, another one of these? Yeah, it's burro. It's, yeah, it's burro. Anything with Ito means, okay, okay. I see what, I see what you're thinking is there. But yeah, I think it's, I know burro. Yeah, it's donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jen would be able to tell you that because Jen's, um, 
well, Jen will be able to tell you the Mexican translation. She's Mexican, but. Um, all right, where to go now? <laughs> go back into the fungal waste, maybe? There's still some area in the green path that I can look up. Wait, I did this guy. Uh, hold up. I can take this. Uh, I did this. <clears throat> oh, and I'm curious about what this is too. So yeah, maybe back to the, the fungal waste. Mean station. Goro is also an insult for dumb. I don't think I heard that one before. Like, I could see you calling somebody like Buro being an insult, like if you're literally calling them a donkey, but it meaning dumb is kind of an interesting, um, kind of interesting. Go to the right. Ah, that was stupid. Wanted to see if I could do like a combo. Oh, I need to go down. Kong was Portuguese Bro Kong. <laughs> Imagine Bro Kong. Hey, you want to play some Bro Kong, man? <laughs> oh. My favorite game is Bro Kong. I love Bro Kong. Buro Kong Jr. I wonder if I can just... Okay, that didn't quite work the way I thought it would. Wait, no. Oh, so I can't go here either. Okay. Uh, let me put down something here. Can't go here. Bro Kong Country. Hell yeah. That's my favorite. Did I go here? I did not go here. I do not remember this. Oh. Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh. Wait, 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 what? Huh? Just happened. <clears throat> I'm unsure what just happened there. I think that thing attacked me above. Ugh. Oh. Oh.
Hmm. Wish my neighborhood had the occasional yard says that'd be awesome. You gotta. So it seems like you wanted to buy stuff, but you want to sell stuff. So why don't you host one? Is that like not a thing in your area or anything? Oh. Oh, so they do swipe up. I just noticed that. Um. I don't have tag sales like people always stop at tag sales and I'm kind of like bruh they stop on the side of the road oh shoot it's not a thing in Europe yeah in America they like people do them all the time and I'm just like and then they'll stop on the side of the road and it creates like weird traffic and stuff and I'm like damn dude Like I've never understood really the appeal of the of the um the you know tag sale, but each their own, I guess. May you find swift end upon our claws. Well damn. They are not playing. I can go down. This is a new area. Not a new area. Oh. Takes four hits to kill those guys. sales used to be more common when I was a kid. Me and my grandparents would go all the time. Get a lot of video games. Yeah, that's true though too is if you can find like a good tag sale, you can get some interesting finds from people that are getting rid of things and don't, you know, realize what they're getting rid of type of deal. Sometimes. Um, Alright, just kill the hell out of them. <clears throat> Sometimes you can get some hella good deals, but it's not all the time that that happens. Kind of few and far between, I think. Why can't I jump back up here? Oh! Love when that happens. All right, where's the... Where's the rest area? I keep seeing signs and it's like... It's like rest area down here. it down to the left huh oh it's right here damn I did go far out of the way I didn't realize didn't realize that person was there I miss up here apparently I missed a whole bunch of ducats back in the good old n64 area yeah I wonder if you could have found some good NES stuff as well, or Super Nintendo stuff, actually. My fave system. What was this? The N64 era were good times. 
Indeed. What is this? Oh, camera fixed. Mantis Village. Oh, is that? It's the Mantis? Yeah, I used to go and rent an, uh, Super, Super Nintendo games. I also got um, Chrono Trigger because, like... What did that open? Oh, opens up up there. Because, <clears throat> um... There was a, um, like a rental shop that was going out of business. So I, I bought their copy of Chrono Trigger. Like, hell yeah. Okay. Like that was, for me, that's, that's the ultimate right there. Wipe it. This Chrono Trigger is just such a good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s. Perfect timing. You have an OG copy of Super Metroid? Never got to play it, but I want... Dude, you should play it, man. That game is just... Chef's kiss, you know? Oh, damn. Something in there. Some sort of a hook. Mantis Claw. Uh, when sliding against the wall to jump again, jump from wall to wall to reach new... Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, this is it. This is the stuff right here. Okay, now we're getting now we're getting to the goods. Now we're getting to the goods. Can you jump off? You can oh, and you can jump off the same wall. Hell yeah, dude. Now we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> the truce remains. Our vigil holds. The beasts are kept at bay. There's a bunch of little secrets in here now. So you can try out your new thing that you just got. this door wow it's so good dude it's so good wait so this is gonna connect right back to where I couldn't get into before Dude, another one of these trees. But now I gotta collect the things. I should have gone. I should have gone around. Wanderer's journal. Should have gone around and uh, killed all the the enemies first.
Oh, you're talking about wait. Oh, you're talking about Chrono Trigger. You beat Metroid. Okay, okay, okay. All right, my bad. I, I, you said uh, Super Metroid, and then I figured uh, you were just still talking about that one. <clears throat> Chrono Trigger is really good. It's like one of the best RPGs that's on the SNES. Proud Warriors, Honor Bound. Uh, definitely play that one if you can. If you're into, you know, playing it. But, yeah, I would recommend you play it because that game's really, really good. You'll hear Nutty talk about it as well. Yo, welcome back, Kodo. Hello again. Should I go left? Oh, I can't. I can't get up here. Went out for some lunch? Hell yeah, dude. What'd you have? Uh, I gotta check out this Wanderer's Journal. I just got this, like, double jump, wall jump thing. Yeah, wall jump. We'll call it wall jump, because that's really what it is. $7 bowl of mushroom soup. Now I want a sandwich. Dude, I usually get the mushroom soup when I have like sushi or something. Mm -mm. Mm. Love it. Love it. So that connects right back here again. Hell yeah. Okay. So now I can get rid of this. Um. Wait, did I never go right here? right I just never saved at the save spot so it doesn't count it as me being here but yeah usually soup is soup is certainly not enough for me to like get full my breakfast I eat like 500 calories damn it down <clears throat> and then to the right never went to that save spot or what like kind of showing like i never been through here i kind of didn't mean to do that but e. Restaurant was called Soup Plus, so I figured it would have good soups. The sandwich just seemed pretty standard. Uh, what you could make at home, some 75 year old couple running, have it. One of the clean things in the place with the spoons, balls. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, at least the the soup was good, right? Of course, forgot that that literally happens. And that happens. Nice. Okay. App updated. All right. Making good progress, man. What? Oh, yeah. I started watching Oats 15 years ago, and back then he was just a bright eyed streamer who didn't think that they knew it all. Lately, I uh -huh. have not been able to watch the stream because over the uh -huh. past few years, Oats has decided his the final opinion on all things, yep, including yep. how Mokbol is, in his all knowing mm -hmm. opinion. Mokbol. It's just Mokbol. the same when a streamer gets too full of themselves. For that reason, he now watches the rival limit, who thankfully showed what was up in only up. <laughs> Yo, Hyper, what's up, dude? How you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good. Hope you're having a good day and uh, hope your weekend's starting off all right. 
How you doing, man? Welcome on in, buddy. Good to see you. Happy Cafter Day. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Thanks for the pasta. Oh gosh, really? Yeah, you've been, uh, I feel like I haven't seen you around a lot. You've been definitely busy with all that stuff, huh? The bachelor grinds. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? At least you're getting it done, man. Good luck with it all. Good luck with it. It's, it's rough, but I've been thinking about going back and, um, um, getting my masters and stuff. Yeah, well. At least you're doing something important, you know, something that should hopefully help out, you know, your future and your, you know, your work and everything. So I hope, uh, I wish you the best of luck, man. I, I've been thinking about going back and getting my masters and I'm, um, I haven't pulled the trigger yet or anything, but we'll see if I end up doing it. <laughs> it worked for FTX, yeah. What could go wrong, dude? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, what is his name? Blank fine or whatever. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing, right? Seriously though, you're you're kind of right. Just a random number. Yeah, just come just make numbers up. Put 69 420 and all sorts of things, just make stuff up. You'll be fine. How do I get to How do I get up there? They get a $500,000 fine. Yep. Literally what they did. Oh my gosh. Just make up some numbers, damn it. Everything will be fine. I didn't read the stuff, but I've seen lots of things about it, but it's just so dumb to me. Dash master, what is this? I also I also received some sort of journal. Bears the likeness of an etc. bug known only as the dash master. The bear will be able to dash more often as well as dash downwards. Perfect those who want to move around as quickly as possible. Actually, actually me. I definitely want to move around faster. Um, what's the journal that I got? A journal left behind by a long dead traveler. The words are written in forgotten dialect and difficult to understand. Relic from Holland is this item now holds little value. Okay. Well, we found those. I wonder if I should take this thing off. Oh, you can only do it at benches. That's right. I forgot. Whoa. We found something secret. TLDR was like float to decimal random daily value nine random daily volume nine digits. <laughs> so dumb. Your body's craving meat. I got some meat for you right here, pants grab. Stonks. True. And again, what could possibly go wrong, dude? We're just, what's your, what, uh, you know, we're just making up numbers. What could possibly go wrong with any of this? <clears throat> what's your console of all time? My favorite console? The SNES. Uh, 
Um, yeah, heck. Thinking about making Korean Chinese black bean noodles with onion zucchini. Dude, that actually sounds really good. Um, black bean noodles should have a lot of protein in them. I've done um, black bean noodles before. Modern day Enron? Yeah. Gosh, Enron was another one that was just dumb, stupid. Ooh. Slide down, flash over, boom, easy. <clears throat> Mostly carbs though. I thought black bean pasta should, I don't know if it's because it's like a Korean Chinese one, but I bought a black bean pasta before and it had a lot of protein. Oh, please don't leave me behind. You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so, so... I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I came... I... You came here to rescue me, Breda? The girl that everyone just ignores? Now look at your face. I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town. I mean, I better get home. Oh! Thank you. You're welcome. Soria yeah. Neku. Probably just make a bit. Yeah, I need to have a good meal. I'm I'm like wicked hungry right now. I got some like walnuts and almonds here, but I need to have a meal. I've only had breakfast so far. And it's like four o'clock. I've been streaming for about four hours. That's good enough for me. Yeah, I usually eat five times in a day. So it's like I need to have my second meal and then my third meal, and then my fourth meal and then my before bed snack. Yeah, so the camera, I think it is just because it's bright outside. Let me just make sure again that I'm saved up here. All right, that should be good. Right, cool dude crazy good progress today in this game crazy good progress excuse me <laughs> how do i feel about back seating i don't go crazy about it like i'm not gonna uh, like i don't like some people don't want you to talk about stuff at all like, I, I don't get, like, all up in arms, like, about it, but also don't want to be, like, led through the game, you know? <laughs> like, I'm trying to, like, enjoy it and experience it myself, so at the same time, it's like, you know, I had some people saying some stuff, like, you know, today, and it wasn't, like, a huge deal. If it gets out of hand, I might be, like... I'd be like, yeah, no, like, you know, I might say something just like, we'll appreciate the help, but like, let me find my way type of thing. But yeah, some people might have like, you know, no spoilers or some people might have like, you know, spoilers wanted or, you know, some, it, it depends upon the streamer, but I don't get like all crazy if, if somebody hints about something or kind of says something or other. I don't want to be completely led through the game. That's I want to enjoy it and experience it myself pretty much, but I'll, I'll find my way. I don't want to scare anybody off, but yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be handheld through it. So uh, I'm, I'm competent enough to find my way. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> it was a good day though. I made a lot of progress and I had a lot of fun playing this game again. Every time I play it, it's like I enjoy the hell out of it. But I want to spend the rest of I want to spend the rest of my day um 
chilling with the family and I want to get some food because I'm hungry as hell. Um, and just relax a bit. It is a Saturday after all. I want to relax and watch some stuff and whatever. You're going to handhold me through Zelda? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, these, these cannons. Oh, those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not that strong at all, but it's a work in progress. So maybe, maybe it'll get better. It's a journey. It allows me to eat more. My working out allows me to eat more, which is, which I like. Cause if not, I'd probably have to eat like a lot less. So it's all good. Um, but thanks everybody for hanging out today. Thanks, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> let me see if, let me see if I can find somebody to raid. Do, 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 do. I don't think, let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, 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 mm. Um, Yo, thank you, Jeffrey. You take care as well, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Always good to see you. Uh, ordering a second lunch. <laughs> do it, do it. Soup is not going to last you that long. Soup would not last me that long. And if you're riding your bike and stuff, you're probably uh, very hungry, I assume. Let me see. I just need to find us a good raid target. <laughs> nope, I'm not. I'm saving my money. <laughs> Gonna air fry some chicken tenders. That's actually probably a better idea. <clears throat> if you've got some, if you've got an air fryer and you've got some like chicken nuggies or something, you can't go wrong with that. Just cause the, the protein is going to satiate you and hold you over for a while longer than you know, maybe something else will. Plus you'll save the money too. I'm a big fan of like eating at home. I don't eat out very often at all, ever. Let me see. You know who's on right now open up yourself to some big savings oh nice yo State thanks for off. that thanks for that ad hell yeah that ad's dope dude air fryer is actually really good we were lucky enough to get one um, from somebody that was getting a better one. So they just got rid of their old one. It is actually such a good thing. I love my oven because I love being able to just, you know, bake chicken nuggets or something. I love them when they're overdone and crispy, crunchy, like not like blackened, but like, you know, they just have like a, you know, good crunch to them and stuff. And you get that from the air fryer, but you get it in less time. It's really nice. I absolutely love that. The air fryer does that. That's like my favorite thing. Um...
Let me, hold on. I want to see how she says it. She calls them the mofos. All right. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it a whole heck and lot. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. Um, it was a lot of fun to play through um, Hollow Knight, showcase it some more, make a lot more progress. I had a lot of good conversation with you guys around various different topics. I enjoyed it. Again, I hope you did too. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, whatever you do, be safe, be well, have fun, enjoy yourselves. And um, yeah, let's let's uh, take the raid over to uh, over to Zelda Momo. Here's a couple raid messages for you. Just like I don't know, do one of those. It's cool. Go say hi. Go show her some love. She's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. She's really cool. She's on the same team as I am. Um, she loves RPGs. She does cosplays and things. And uh, I will see you all again next time. Um, um, maybe I might do a bonus stream this week uh, during the work week. But if I do, I'll try to let you guys know in the Discord. So um, look out for the Discord and anything I you know say as far as streams in there. Uh, but if not, I'll be back again probably next Saturday to do another you know, stream of Hollow Knight for sure. We're going to continue this and, uh, and make more progress. So take it easy, everybody. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, much love. Be well. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Kodo. Yeah, I'm going to dig into something. I'm looking forward to it.